stumbled across some pretty scary stuff on uh, YouTube. Um, I was looking, I was uh, posting my video, my last one, about, you know, what to wear to raves, and I stumbled across some videos that also said what to wear to raves. It was just these girls that held up fluffy hats and fluffies and underwear. And they said, you know, you can wear candy and, and pacifiers and pacifiers are for babies, but they like to do it at raves. And I think people are starting to go just to dress like a slut and do drugs. I saw many comments after the how to dress at a rave videos that were like, you know, I'm 14, I want to go to these. Like, what are they all about? If you're 14 and wear a fluffy hat and fluffies and underwear, people are going to call you a P-tot. A P-tot is a young girl who goes to raves dressed like a slut and has sex for drugs. So as I was scrolling through the YouTube comments, I came across a lot that I really, really wanted to um, touch on. Claire Redfield uh, commented on one of the videos, how old do you have to be to go to raves? The age limit is 16 uh, for some raves. Um, most of them are 18 up, uh, with ID of course. Um, I know I started going to raves when I was like 14, but I snuck in or worked at the events, which basically means I snuck in. Uh, a girl named Daphne Nguyen, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, she asked, um, what are rave names and how do you get them? So my rave name, for instance, is Molly Wonka, and um, it used to be Asylum Bear, but then I lost my bear hat. Uh, so you get a rave name, uh, someone will give it to you, probably someone in your rave family, uh, if not just somebody that you were dancing with or something. If you don't have a name, then somebody might be, you know, they might give you a name. It's, it's you know, based on your personality or, or how you dress. Uh, there are, are rave names like Strawberica, Kermit, Bubblesore, Charmander, uh, with an S, <laughs> Cool Cub, Zen, Trip, Bounce, Feather, Salsa Cookie, Bam Bam, Pinky, Tabs, Zelda, Trellala, Rainbow Fluffy Monster Cat, Plurberry, Chomp Chomp Attack, Lemonhead, Tidal Wave, Skittles, Rainbow Bright, it's it's just really like, they're just cute little names that you get for raves. Someone asked how much it costs to get in raves, uh, generally it can be anywhere from 5 to $30 for a regular venue, sometimes VIP is like $40, it's generally around 10 to 15 though, um, for, for general admission. Uh, for big festivals like Kaleidoscope Music Festival, Cheese Fest, uh, other large events like that, like where it's like thousands of people. It's probably around 80 to like $300. EDC, I don't even know how much that costs. It's really expensive though. Tomorrowland is a huge one. Um, that's like thousands of dollars to get to. Randomness Lives Here asked, what do you wear if you're a little chubby and don't want to show too much skin? I think that is probably the most horrible thing I have heard all night. It really irritated me because the video that it was posted on, this girl was just talking about wearing bandos and bras and uh, like underwear and short shorts and I can understand how that might make people feel uncomfortable like oh I'm fat what do I wear? By the way you're not fat. Oh I'm you know self-conscious about my own weight what do I wear? Well, you goddamn wear anything you want to. I'm sorry for swearing, but you wear absolutely anything you want to. You don't have to wear something slutty or sexy to fit in. You wear anything you want to because that's what raves are about. It's about being unique and being yourself. Damn straight, Skippy. Hey, it's Molly Wonka. That video was made about a year ago and I just found it and I totally didn't post it and I'm super sorry and <laughs> I'm really really glad that I found it because that's I mean shit you saw it uh that's important stuff man I, I'm really really glad that I found it and I'm really really glad that you watched it, it raves are um not really what they used to be um